there Virgo. I hope you guys are doing well. Uh, this is a reading for July 2024. I appreciate your patience. I've been out of town dealing with family stuff. So, um, yeah, but thank you. Thank you. And let's get into this reading. Um, I am considering these top energies support from the universe. Okay. And the bottom is just the tarot throughout the messages here. So the first card, let go, bury. Um, Virgo, this energy shows up, especially when like we have situations that are either unresolved or problematic situations with other people. It's like, it's like that little thing that still stings you. It's that little, that little piece of like whatever information that you just have to get your point across. You know, it's, it's that nagging little sting. Um, and it's asking for us to just stop squash the beef it's asking for us to let go of the situation and just bury it you don't need to have that looming over you always needing to be right always needing to do whatever you know get your point across make sure that you're the one that's like you know on top let it go it's not healthy for the ego it's not it shows a really negative aspect of the ego first of all but like it's not good okay and if you have an issue with a person and it, it needs to be resolved. Resolve it. Let it go. Bury the issue. We don't need to keep rehashing it. We don't need to be bringing it up when we're angry. Just truly let it go and bury the issue. Okay. This situation, this situation could be affecting you with a person in your home, a partner, a roommate, a child, whatever it is. But for the, four of, uh, for the Four of Wands to be here, Four Flames, this is a very supportive energy for a healthy home, a healthy foundation. Um, your home is your castle. It's, 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 the support is there, right? You want your home to be healthy. We don't need to have problems. So let it go. Let it, let it lie. Intuition. Listen to your gut, Okay. Pardon me. Thank goodness. Um, moving into your energies here for tarot. Um, uh, Virgo, your supportive energy, the energy to embody throughout this month is the hermit. This is asking for you to take a step back and look at everything that you're involving yourself in. Why are people acting this way? How am I acting in a certain situation? What am I doing to cause any problems in this? Um, looking, pull, pulling yourself back and looking at situations in a way that really highlights all of your, um, your, your, um, trigger buttons, you know, um, especially with people that are in your home, family members, roommates, whatever it is, it's looking at behaviors for what they are and trying not to, uh, continue that issue, trying to put them to bed because we see them for what we are. Okay. Um, this may also be implementing your intuition more rather than your, your logical mind. Um, either way, though, this is asking you through the month of July, before you initiate things, before you, you decide to move forward or something, really take, a, take an evening, you know, and say, I'm going to sleep on it. I need to think about this and say it in your, right before you go to bed. If there's anything that I need to know about this, show me more. Show me better options, better opportunities. How can I make this better? You know, how can I be better in this situation? It's very, very introspective energy here. That before you endeavor into things this month, whatever they may be, just always take a pause and say, listen, I need to think this over before I act upon it. For communication, your community in general, you have the chariots. It's a very positive energy here, Virgo. This is... Um, this is getting things moving. It's it's making things happen. This is support from everybody involved here, especially if you do live in a family environment or a roommate environment. It's saying, okay, we're all on the same page. We're moving accordingly. We're moving effectively. People are of support for whatever this direction change is, whatever this travel situation change is. Everybody's of support here. Um, if you're not dealing with people in your life, then this is just saying, I am on the move. 
I am getting my stuff, my ducks in a row, and I'm supporting myself. I'm doing so in a very healthy and balanced way. I mean, this all shows up in a very interesting way. It's, it's, it's very supportive of your foundation, Virgo, and for how it can like become stronger and more important. Okay. Very, very supportive energy though. And it just, if, if not dealing with people, it just is indicating that your emotions, your inner world is in a balanced energy for you to make decisions from. And if it's not, try to get rid of the things that are kind of eking at you and, and eating at you so that you can have clarity towards what you need. When it comes to your health energy of the Ace of Swords, this is an interesting one just because it can indicate a complete change in direction when it comes to what you've been doing towards a completely new direction altogether. This could be finding new health support, health support team. This could also be acupuncture. This can also talk about um, potential surgeries. But what it feels like is finding some sort of resolution in regard to situations that you've been dealing with and finding a different way to address them here, Virgo. Um, it's having an aha moment or it's finding out new information that is supportive of you. Okay. And for some of you too, like it may be very helpful to go to acupuncture. I know that, you know, not a lot of people like that kind of stuff, but that is my background, <laughs> alternative health altogether. So, you know, if you're needing to feel more up to, up to snuff, if you're needing to feel very solid in your life right now, like if you're feeling like your energy is dragging or you need to like get a workup, go, go to the doctor, go check things out, check out acupuncture. If you've been dealing with health issues that have just been leaving you exhausted, maybe it's time for a different approach. Maybe it's time for alternative medicine, herbal medicine. You know, maybe it's time for meditation and an, an internal workup, you know, however it is. Either way, though, when it comes to your health, you are having an aha moment or some sort of clarity in regard to what makes you feel better. Also, some of you, too, this is as basic as I'm cutting out certain things in my life. You know, I'm letting go of certain vices or certain addictions that are just getting in my way that are clouding my mind and my judgment. Some of you, you're doing that. So good. Uh, in your work situation, you have um, jobs, works, money making, you have the Ace of Pentacles. This is great. It talks about new opportunities, uh, potential pay raises. It talks about um, if you do stocks and like, you know, if you do trading, day trading and stuff like that, it talks about an increase in money there. Overall, the Ace of Pentacles is a very, very um, positive card to show up in this regard here. So it talks about getting more money, more opportunities for money, money and job opportunities coming in towards you. You have an option, you know, um, use your intuition for that you know, but it feels like you're highly supported, especially if you're looking for work. It feels like you're highly supported. When it comes to your love, your relationship connections, um, your, your innermost, closest relationships, it doesn't have to be romantic, but these connections here, you have the Hierophant in reverse. So it's an interesting one, especially when the Four of Wands is here, all right? Um, the Hierophant in reverse uh, can talk about a lack of support, a lack of stability, a lack of foundation, but it can also, and a lack of um, connection here, like some of you, you're letting go of a relationship, you know, or some of you are realizing that a partnership is not as supportive as you hoped, you know, and so it's like, do I really want to stay with the situation? Does it offer me foundation? Does it offer me support? Is it, is it long lasting? You know, do I feel seen, heard, appreciated here? You know, especially if you already live with somebody, it's really asking for you to find like, what is the stability factor here? How do I feel supported by my partner? You know, and if they're not showing up in a way or if something needs to be let go of to, to have better harmony, it's important that you do that. OK, especially if miscommunications are happening or you're not seeing eye to eye with a person, um, be very clear about how you go about things with this person. OK, um, 
it's an opportunity to be clear about what you need. For some of you in love and in potential, um, even if you are in a relationship, this is asking you to seek outside the box. It's asking you to not go with the tried and true, not be the traditional trajectory. It's, it's saying color outside of the lines because sometimes that's where the best artwork happens. You know, it's that freedom to have that type of expression for you to experience more. Um, this is taking a walk on the wild side. It's doing what you can do to explore situations that are different, that are taboo, that are not of the ordinary. And so you may be connecting to a person if you're brand new and like there's nobody in your life right now, you know, Virgo, this may be a situation where you are connecting to somebody where things are like completely new to you, but it doesn't mean that they're wrong. It just means that you are connecting to a situation that asks you to think outside of the box, that asks you to stretch your uh, comfort level, you know, to accommodate for a different type of love, okay? And for some of you who are in relationships, it's saying, hey, we've tried all of these typical, you know, ways about doing things. Maybe we can try an alternative route. Maybe we can try something different. It doesn't have to mean the foundation and stability in your life is falling apart. Maybe it's finding different ways to address things so that you can have a better foundation here. Life changes. Things are always constantly changing. The tried and true and traditional approaches are helpful, but they're not always the way. So use your intuition, listen to your gut to make sure that you are in alignment with your clarity and move forward accordingly. Always take a minute to address situations. Realize he's, the way he's pointing here, he's looking at the past. Look at your past experiences. Look at how you've addressed things. Then look at how you can address things now. Okay? The best, the best advice I can give here is don't repeat uh, situations that are, uh, that are problematic from your past. Don't repeat things when you can do things differently. Um, just because it, it's, there's a lot of potential harmony here. It's just um, being effective in how you apply yourself and how you show up for things and um, knowing when to incorporate and when not to. So that's so what I have for you, Virgo. I hope that this reading is helpful. Um, I will talk to you later. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, supporting my channel, and however you do. Um, you can contact me for a personal read. All the information is in the description box below. Take care.